Now the time's come to add on treasures to my game. Now if you've been following the series, you know that I already have a Thing class, and the Thing class has a name and a description. And so I've decided to create a treasure class that extends, that is, it descends from the Thing class, so it inherits the name and description, and it adds on this extra uh, integer value variable, and I've also got this uh, access, a method, to return the value of that variable. Rooms need to be able to contain treasures, and that means that I need some sort of list for treasure objects, and I need to be able to put those lists into rooms. Now, I've created this thing list class, and that's a special type of array list, and it's typed to hold thing objects. You can see that here. Now, I explained typed array lists uh, in an earlier video when I created a map as an array list typed to hold room objects. The thing list class here has two methods, describe things, that's this one up here, uh, and that returns a string showing the names and description of all the things in the list. And then there's the this ob uh, method down here, and that tries to find an object with a given name, this string, a name, uh, and if it, it returns that object if it's found in the list, or it returns null uh, if it isn't found. Now I've created another class called thing holder. That's this one. Uh, that descends from thing. You can see that here. It extends thing, but it adds on a thing list field. That's here, and accessor methods. In other words, a thing holder object is a thing that can contain a list of other things. Now a room needs to contain a list of things, so I make the room class uh, descend from thing holder, and the player also needs to be able to contain uh, a list of things, the things that the player collects in the course of the game. So the actor class, that's the one that defines the player, that now also descends from thing holder. The constructors of room and actor now take a thing list, as you can see here, as an argument. When I run the game, let's have a look at the game class, that's what uh, the game that's where the game starts. Well, you can see that now I create lists, uh, lists of treasure objects. Here's a list of objects, or oh, there's only one there. Let's have a look. Cave list that contains two different objects. So I've added these objects, the, these treasures, to the, to the cave list thing list. And then when I want to put those treasures into a room, well, I've just passed that list to the uh, room constructor. So now I need to display treasure lists when the player enters a room or looks at a room so that you get a description of what treasures are available to be collected. I'll do that in the next lesson. Download the source code for these lessons from bitwisebooks.com. This Java series is based on the C-sharp programs that form the basis of the little book of adventure game programming available from Amazon.